In my previous video, I showed you how to create a template for a custom post type using uh, Elementor, a template which uh, enabled us to create a page such as this one, uh, retrieving all the data that we have um, in the database for this custom post type, for this uh, SaaS product review. But the question is, how can you create uh, a template uh, for an archive page? By default, if you don't create a template, this is how uh, a, t a page uh, for the archives will, will look like. So you will see all uh, the different posts on top of each other in just one feed, just one stream. But we would like to um, get another look such as this one for instance uh, with a nice presentation with a search engine and uh, with a grid of all uh, the publications that we have in the SAS products uh, custom post type so how do we do this exactly in uh, the same way as we created the template for the custom post type so we go to templates in the sidebar of wordpress and then we choose team builder but instead of going to a single post to create uh, a template for a custom post type, we go to archive. And there we can uh, create a new, uh, a new template. I will do it from scratch, even if I've already done it. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see uh, the final result, this result. But we will do it from scratch once again uh, without pushing it um, in production. So let's start by uh, clicking on uh, new. So demo will be the title for the archive. So we also start with a blank page so that everything is clear for you. So it's a blank page. Uh, we can start by adding, for instance, here um, this section where we will add the title such as um, this is a selection. This is a selection of SaaS applications. There we go. Let's do it like this. Under it, we can add um, a search engine. I'm using. Let me show you um, a plugin which is called ajax search pro this one so i can create as many search bars as i want i've already created a search bar for the SaaS products um, to give you some details when you create a search bar you have to set um, what will be the source of the search bar so here we have the SaaS products you also have in the layout options to say what will be the placeholder text in the search bar in the search field so search SAS products and uh, you can customize uh, basically everything uh, in your search bar so how it looks like uh, also um, uh, also where it will search uh, besides uh, the title so you can search for instance uh, in the software types if you want to go deeper and uh, in the end, you just grab uh, the code here uh, for the short code. And we go back to our page and insert a short code module, short code like this. And we paste the search bar. So the search bar is there. So we just have to add now um, a grid. So let's add a grid. So We'll choose posts, posts, post module, this one. I just drag it here. But we have to change the query because by default the query is on the blog post. So we choose SAS products. So we have a grid. Go back to layout, select four uh, columns. We can say, for instance, uh, 12 posts to have three lines. Then we will remove the date, the comments, read more, the excerpt, go back to style, center the title, go to content, change the color 
of the title. We can also, if we want, um, we can also uh, set a box, uh, a box shadow. Let me see right here. Yes. And add some padding in the box so that it looks better like this. We don't have any pagination. So if we want, we can go to layout, um, no content, sorry. And then pagination, add pagination numbers. So here we have some pagination, but we can go to style to uh, space the pagination like this. And if we want, we can add some margin top and bottom. So it looks almost uh, like the example I gave you here. Um, there is here some space for uh, uh, for an add unit, which you don't see at the moment. But that's basically the same uh, the same concept. We can also add some text here, some uh, subtitles. When we are ready to go, we just decide to publish it and to choose which archive it will be linked to. So if we choose this one and if I push it, uh, then it will replace the other one. But as you see, there is a message telling us that we already have a template for um, the archive of the SAS products, which is this one. But that's the concept. Uh, that's the process you have to follow to create a, a template for an archive page uh, for one of your uh, custom post types. Then you also have to create another uh, template for all the um, all the tags, all the custom taxonomies. Uh, for instance, here, if I go to visual, you see I have a few of them. Uh, originally, this page looked like uh, look like this one. So uh, a feed, one on top of each other, of all uh, the, um, the SAS products which were linked to this custom taxonomy uh, visual. But I also created, uh, following exactly the same uh, process, I created also uh, a template for uh, the custom taxonomy, which is a bit different as you see because uh, there is a there is an add unit uh, vertical skyscraper here. But it's, it's it's exactly the same concept. So you go through. Um, let's go. Let's do it just to show you. You go through a template, a team builder, and then archive, and then you start uh, and create a new uh, archive for, uh, for instance, for the tags, uh, or let's say SAS products, um, software types, software types. There we go. And just to show you how you can do it based on a former template that you have, I have a few templates that are uh, similar to this uh, use case. Uh, so here I have a decoration types archive. So if I use my template, I, I will have the same layout as the one I showed you right here. But we can go to settings, preview, and change um, the dynamic content. So we can do software types. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And maybe choose one of the software types, like video, for instance, so that we have a clear preview of one of the software types. Let's do it. Uh, here we go. So you see we have five examples of software products, software applications, which have the video software type in their tags. Obviously, we have to change uh, the wording before and after uh, the, the term, so before and after the keyword. So we would do this to do it. So um, selection of, and then space, and then we say, video SAS applications. That's an example. You do exactly the same for the subtitle and then you can just um, uh, push it by choosing condition. So you can go to software type, 
and yes you see there's a warning telling us we already have a template for software tags so we won't push it but it's exactly the same concept so in the end you will have a beautiful template for both the software types and the main page with the search bar which is the archive of all the SAS products. That's how you create a template for your archives and for your uh, tags using Elementor Pro uh, with the data you had from uh, your custom post types created with CPT UI and advanced custom fields.